Bighorn sheep brought in late fall to early winter. Rams approach ewes and sniff their rear end. If they detect the ewe is in estrus, they may perform a lip curl. This helps them better assess the readiness of the ewe for mating. Sometimes a ram might prod or kick a ewe to gauge her reaction and determine her receptivity. Actual copulation is a brief act. The ram mounts the ewe from behind, and the act is over in a matter of seconds. Both rams and ewes can mate multiple times during the ridding season. If a ewe isn't ready to mate or is being pursued by a ram she doesn't want to mate with, she might run away, leading the ram on a chase. Rams often compete with each other for access to ewes. Two rams will charge at each other, colliding at speeds up to 20 miles per hour. The sound can be heard up to a mile away. These battles can last for hours and are not only about physical strength, but also stamina and determination. After winning, the victorious ram displays dominance through actions like raising his head, walking stiffly, and occasionally kicking or nudging the defeated ram. The winning ram will typically return to tending her. He will approach the ewe, stay close to her, and guard her from other potential suitors. A ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds, which is more than the combined weight of all the bones in his body. These horns are not only used for battling but also serve as a sign of maturity and health, influencing a ewe's choice of mate. Ewes choose dominant males for their superior genes, benefiting offspring survival and reproduction, while fierce competition ensures only the fittest rams reproduce, leading to the evolution of their notable traits.